Hi Jurassic Cuties, Winnie here. Today we're going to draw Queen Barb from the Trolls World Tour movie. So let's get started. To draw this rock troll, let's first start by drawing her nose. So I'm going to come right here and draw a curve. So this is right in the center. And then we're going to round it off with three curves at the bottom. So just one right here. And then a bigger one in the center. From there, let's draw her eyes. So I'm going to come right above this nose. So in this area and draw a big circle. So go right here. And same thing on this side. So about right here just as well. There. There. Two big circles. And then let's make them draw so cute eyes. So I'm going to come in here with two small circles for highlights. And a curve line at the bottom. And shade in the top. And the lines at the bottom. And same thing over here. So thank you for all the love you've given me for all the trolls I've drawn so far. And um, if you've seen the movie and there's other trolls you want me to draw, definitely let me know in the comments below. So I've drawn uh, Poppy, of course, and uh, Tiny Diamond, from the new movie. I have Branch from the old movie. <laughs> and Guy Diamond. Okay, so right here, now we have the eyes in. So I'm going to come um, and draw her eyebrows. So they're very, very prominent eyebrows. So we're gonna come right here, um, about right here. And I'm just gonna slant up, touching her eye. I'm gonna draw this angle. And I'm going to bring it down. So arc it down about right there. And we're going to thicken it up. So just come up right here. And create this arc and then just shade it in. So same thing over here. So touching her eye, go up. Thicken it up and come down. And shade it in. There. <laughs> so mean. <laughs> That's how you make a mean look. You could get these prominent eyebrows. <laughs> okay, so then from there, we're going to draw her lashes. So I'm going to come right here. She does have these long lashes. Come up. Maybe four at the top. So same thing over here. One, two. And then at the bottom, you're going to draw some two as well. So three at the bottom. And over here. Okay, now for her mouth, I'm going to give her this smirk smile that she has. So I'm going to start right here. Just draw a curve. And from there, I'm going to bring down this curve, this angle. And then as it comes to the bottom, it's going to straighten out a bit more. And about right there, I'll stop and cap it off. And I come right in this area and draw two of her fangs. So it's just Okay, so there we're done with her face. Now let's draw, I mean, we're done with her expression. Now let's draw her head and her face. So um, let's see here. Let's, let's come about right here, kind of where her brow is, and we're going to come out. 
So same thing on this side. So using these two points as my guide, I'm going to just basically draw a curve going around for her face. Nice and round. And then we're going to come close to her mouth area. So about right here, just going to go and flatten out this curve. Just basically my usual dumpling shape that I give to all my, most of my characters. From there, let's drag this curve up. So we're going to start to draw the top of her head. So we're just going to bring this all the way up. So let's drag this point across. So about right here, it's easier for my hand to come down. Put a curve on this side. So we're just going to get thinner and then go up narrower and about right there I'll stop. So I'm going to start to draw her hard rock, her rock hair. <laughs> so let's come about right here and I'm going to add a curve right towards the center and up. And then let's come right here and she has this little patch right here of gray. We're shaving for her hair and then let's draw her hair. So I'm going to come up right here and bring in a curve on both sides. And from there, I'm just basically going to zigzag and uh, back and forth and this being my highest point right in the center. So, so about right here is going to be my highest and then I'm just going to start to come down and back. From there, we can add some details in this area and just draw a smaller tuft of spiky hair. And then now let's go ahead and draw her ears. So on the sides right here, I'm going to pop out a curve because pretty much pretty out. And then we're going to kind of round off the tip and bring it in. So we're kind of aiming towards this area right here. But before we finish that, let's come in here and draw the inside curve and then we're going to draw her earring. So she has two earrings right here. So just loop it right underneath that curve you created. So two curves and another one. And then you can just finish with the curve and bring it in. So then the other side is um, let's drag this point across. So about right there. So this um, side is missing a tip, so it's not going to go as high. So say about right there, I'll just stop and bring in these curves. And then just like the other side, I'm going to come in here first and draw the inside curve. And then right here, she has this one big ear earring. So I'm going to come right here. Draw the big earring and then finish off this curve. And about right here, I'll put in a curve to finish off her ear. Okay, so now we're finally done with that part. Now we can draw her body. So then let's come right in the center and we're going to give her a V right here for her neck and then come out, shoulders. So then right here, I'm going to add a curve. So it's angle line on both sides. And so now let's work on this hand first. So I'm going to connect this. And so her armpits say about right here. And I'm going to bring this curve in. So she's bending her hands. In, and then right here, bend it out. Continue this one. And then right here, we're going to connect it with a cuff. Bring in this cuff right here with a curve and connect. So we're passing her body now as we draw this um, hand. 
So come about right here with a curve, bring it in a little bit more, and then right here, two softer curves and back in. So just curve her hand. Now this part's a little bit complicated, hopefully just passing her body. So her hand is landing right here on her body. Okay, from there, now we're gonna have to draw the guitar. <laughs> so using this as our guide, but right here, we're going to draw an angle line out. So this is going to be the neck of our guitar. So just create an angle. And I'll just stop it for there for now. And then let's come over here and we're gonna connect this side of her t-shirt and then bring down a curve for this hand that's also holding the guitar. So one pit so about right here. So then let's come over here, following this line you've created, and we're going to draw the neck of our guitar. So I'm gonna stop about right there. So imagine her hand is coming around. So using this as my guide, I'm gonna say about right here. Continuing my neck, come over here, and we're gonna draw her other hand. So curve, another curve, and one more. And we're gonna curve it back to there. And then right here, you just add a curve for her bracelet on her other arm as well. And so then come in here for some details for the fingers. Okay, finally, so that was the hardest part, these two hands. So hopefully I made that, didn't make it too hard. And then from there, now we can draw the guitar, the body. So let's come into this area, um, say about right here. And then draw the bottom of our guitar. So this is gonna be over the top. Come in. All the way out so we're just going to create these three zigzags here so one two and three there finally okay so then now for the guitar let's come over here we're going to continue this out so now we know where the hands are continue this out and then right here, just cut it off. And then let's draw the head. So come out with two angles. So make sure to find your center. So this is the center of your line of your neck. Come out all the way, say about right here. And using that as your guide, point it down. Then right here, we're gonna draw the prongs. So there's three of them. So hopefully I'm not going too fast, but if I am, please pause the video. I know I might be going a little fast because this is gonna take forever, right? This drawing is so <laughs> detailed. Okay, so then, um, okay. From there, let's draw, draw details a little bit later. So in this space, whatever you have left, if you think there, you're gonna be able to see some of her pants, Go ahead and draw that. So I'll say about right here, you might see part of her shorts. So I'm just gonna add in that right there. But if you don't think, if their guitar is gonna cover it, then all you need to do is draw her legs. So I'm just gonna come out right here with a slight angle. And then pop in her feet. And so right here, same thing, so at an angle. Curve. Okay, 
at the feet and so then there's some details right here for her netting for her stockings um, let's say about right here So same thing on this side. Okay, finally. Now, um, right here, let's, before I forget some uh, circles in this area for some detail. And then for the guitar, just draw some circles right in this area. And then let's add some these lines in here. Just break it. And one more. And then we're going to add some lines going following. <laughs> I'm just going to add three to make it simpler. But then this part is too thick, so I'm going to have to add another one in there. Okay, I have four lines. <laughs> and I'm just going to... For some detail. Okay, now for some details on the guitar itself. So let's come out right here. And just gonna squiggle. And then there's this skull thing right here, but you're not gonna be able to see it since the hand's in the way. So I'm just gonna kind of draw the top part of it, maybe. And um, am I done finally? <laughs> oh goodness. Okay, you know what? Let's add a heart right here since I have some space right here. So they're finally all done. I know this is a bit complicated, especially the hand area and the guitar, but hopefully I was able to make it easy for you to follow along and um, you'll give it a try. Thanks so much for watching. And if you loved it, please make sure to subscribe if you haven't already and turn on your notification bell so you won't miss any new Draw So Cute videos. See you later.